Hey, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my places that you can eat in my little, okay? It's going to be a good video because every place that I'm going to share with you guys, there's something different in each place I would recommend. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's begin. So the first place that I have is a breakfast place. So this one is called Wala Bani Okay, I'm going to have them linked on well, their Instagram link. Hey, this is going to be the first spot, so we're going to go in for breakfast. So, yeah, follow me. Oh. This is the menu here. It's very affordable. So we're going to choose breakfast right now. So they have Western breakfast, and then they have, like, Jamaican breakfast, too. I think I would only come here for Western breakfast, because I go to the local bookshop now for Jamaican breakfast, so I wouldn't come here, to be honest. So this is a place that you want Western breakfast, or you just want a nice place to sit down and eat. You're going out with someone, or you're here on vacation, you just want to eat somewhere, like, decent and nice. Yeah, because... Customer service is good and the ambience here is really nice. They also have crepes here. They sell chicken and waffles. I told you it's westernized. They're, oh, and they have vegetarian options. Oh, this is what I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order some pancakes, French toast, maybe a little bacon at the side. And then the person that's with me is going to order American breakfast wrap. So when I we get that, we'll come back and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so let me give you guys a little tour of the place. So it's right at Netsford. Did I tell you guys? Oh my gosh. So this is how it is. It's cute and nice. We're right in the same plaza as Nexford in Winterhawk, so really easy to find. Oh, the food is done to order, so we're gonna have to wait 15 minutes. So if you come here, take that into consideration. Okay, this is Elfie, just a romper. It looks so angelic. Angelic. Is that weird? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so here it is. This is the pancakes with bacon. This was only $400 and then I added the bacon for $200 so that only cost $600. And then this was $650 with two bacon so $850. So this is American breakfast wrap. Am I the only person that doesn't know how to use like the knife and fork stuff properly? <laughs> I don't know, they didn't teach us this in school. Actually, yeah, they teach it to us in school for like one day. And then we had a test on it in cooking class. I just studied it for the test. I didn't really care. Okay, so this is what I wanted to say. Hold on. You guys, graduate my utensil skills. Thing. So it's very affordable here, right? So the amount of money that you're gonna spend at Juicy Beef for the bre for breakfast is the same price here. So usually when I'm in Juicy Beef, I spend around like five, six hundred dollars, and then for that price you can get three pancakes, bacon, or you can get American wrap for six fifty. So again, I would only come here if I feel like for Western food, to be honest. They have free Wi-Fi here, and the food tastes good. <laughs> oh, and you have the option of dining in or taking out. You don't have to eat here, and it's clean here. I'm gonna try the American sandwich, American wrap sandwich. This isn't too bad. I would put bacon in here though, instead of the ham. I'll give it like a seven out of ten. Not bad. But they did give us the option to put take out the ham and put the bacon in it. I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go on to the next place. You guys are gonna like the next place. <laughs> all done. All done. All done. The next spot is the Turf Sports Lounge. Now I decided to choose this place because I'm like, okay, it's a little bit different. It's for all people who just want to lounge or into sports because this is like the whole theme of it. Come here, relax, watch some sports on the TV. And it's like very sports themed. So you'll see like the people working here wearing referee uniforms. Anyways, come along. I'm excited. Yeah, so let's go. Okay guys, so we're here. We're gonna order actually right now. So what are you gonna eat? These are the menus that we have. I want to... Uh... If you just want to meet someone and you want to talk and hang out, this place. If you just want to like have a local business meeting, you just want a nice, casual, fun place, this place. Listen, this place is like the place you go if a big match is happening, like football match or like Olympics is happening. This would be the spot. But yeah, as you can see, there's like football teams at the back. I like this place actually a lot. So we ordered our food. And so when it comes, we'll come back and talk about everything. But this is how it looks here, guys. It's like a rooftop setting. The location is good too. If anyone's wondering, it's on the main and it's right beside the old movie theater in Mindeville. So it's like the plaza right beside the old movie theater. In case anyone has trouble, because I kind of had some trouble finding the place. You guys know I wouldn't recommend any place that doesn't have good customer service, doesn't have good food. Okay, our food is here. Oh, I know, our drinks are here. Okay, so we got this. It's the daiquiri, I think. And then, oh, I forget what this one is called. 
Yeah, but I got this. Supposedly it's good. Guys, I look so tired because I am. Okay, I'm gonna try this. What's this called again? She gave me a half straw. Have you guys ever seen a half straw before? It's the first time. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's try. No man, this is too much liquid alcohol. Yeah, people are playing football. Okay, I'm gonna go play some football, guys. While we're waiting for food, I'm gonna play. So come along. wings just for like an appetizer listen the girl said that we have sorrel dipping sauce for the wings I never had this ever and then some other sauce I forget what it's called but I was just shocked on the sorrel sauce so I was like sorrel sorrel but she's like it tastes good it's gonna be the first time having it so try it out so that's what I'm going to do so this is a sorrel one I'm gonna dip it try it Kyle ah! look how red it is so how does it taste it doesn't taste bad. Mmm. It doesn't taste bad at all. Wow. This is different. Mmm. This is a vibe. I don't know if I'm hungry or this just... I don't know if I'm hungry or this just tastes good. Well, you guys can follow them on Instagram. I'll link their Instagram down below so you guys can follow them. I need to try yours. I can't finish this. It's too strong. Yeah, I like this better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting what no. This doesn't taste bad because other people in the lounge right now have this on their table. But I'm just not an alcoholic person. No, I'm gonna please. order one for myself. I want some more than they mean ya. Woo! That's strong man. What would you rate it? How do you like the experience here so far? Nice. This is like children friendly, family friendly, right? Yes. Yeah, because if you're young, you can bring someone here and they, they can, can play a little bit. So, but not too hard, is it? Yeah, you have to hit the ball like soft. Like something to do while you're waiting for stuff. And the food came quick. It wasn't a long wait or anything, just to let anyone know. Okay, got my food. Okay, this is the chicken alfredo. This was 1,300. And look how, look how big it is. Um, can we get more napkins? Sure. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. And this is the loaded fries. It reminds me of poutine, but I need to try this. The portion is really small. This is good. The chicken alfredo tastes good. Nice. Would recommend. We're gonna try the loaded fries. I'm not a loaded fries person. Wherever I go, I don't like loaded fries. I don't know what it is. Frame freeze. I mean, I got one of these because his tastes good. I personally think that this one tastes better than the mango. I think this is a strawberry. If you guys want to get any of these, get the strawberry. Tastes better than the mango, but it's still good. It's still good. All done, all done, all done, all done, all done. I thought I spent 5,000, but I spent 5,400. It's the drinks, guys. Look how much drinks I bought. Cause I didn't like the first one, so I bought another one. 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you poured it? Okay. So we got takeaway cups. I didn't know they had this here. But this is good. Because a lot of places Thank don't. Your customer service is It's so good. Yeah. Alright. Thanks. Yeah, so a lot of places here don't give this at restaurants. So I was shocked when she said that. Because I'm used to places down here, enough places down here that don't give away those things. So. Bang! Customer service is good. I'm going to give her a tip. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to give her a tip. So we're going to go now. Get her. 10 out of 10 would recommend the turf. You guys have to come here. Hey guys. Okay, so I have a lot of Muslim friends. They're always asking me, Anisha, I'm gonna come down to Jamaica, but I don't know where I could eat that sells halal food. So I decided to insert this place into this video here. It's in Mandeville, it's called Halal Eat. So of course, all their food's going to be halal. This location is actually hidden. It's actually really hidden. You wouldn't see unless you're really paying attention to scenery. So it's basically at the new green roundabout, like hidden 
behind the car marts at the new green roundabout okay and it's literally right in front of their mosque their islamic center like, yeah so i'm excited we're gonna go in eat some food well i'm gonna order something and then i'll see yeah we'll go on that way so anyways follow me along and let's go <laughs> So I can just show you guys, I guess. It's just regular box food. Since that today, it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything big. He said, that's really okay. it for this place. The food, it's just regular box food. So I just wanted to create awareness of this space for anyone who likes to out stuff. So keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go on to the next spot. Okay, so the next spot is Gizmos, and we're going there for tacos. So you guys come along and let's go. Look, we're the only people in here. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Only people. Only people. Only people. So, I got introduced to this place through Shelly Posh, my friend. I came here to meet her and we had like drinks here and everything. And then I fell in love with this place because the ambience is good, but the customer service? A hundred out of ten. So that's why I'm just recommending this place. To make sure that you are satisfied and they help you as much if you're just confused on what to buy, what to drink. And that happened to me a few times coming here. So highly recommend. This is in Elite Mall, Mansville. Upstairs, you can't miss it, okay? You guys come here for drinks. I've seen people do anniversaries here, late nights. Yeah, but I'm here for tacos. It's Taco Wednesday and we don't have to go to Kingston anymore. So if you want to get tacos local, come here on Wednesdays. You can come here any day too. They have tacos, but I guess they have deals on this day. I'm excited. We're gonna try out the uh, tacos and yeah. I'm so excited to eat the tacos. Ah! I've been craving tacos for so long and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to town. Who wants to go to Kingston just for food? I've been craving tacos for so long. Oh, yay. Merci. Thank you. You're most welcome. <laughs> what is this called? The Bob Marley? That's the frozen Bob Marley. The frozen Bob Marley. Mm, nice, and then he got the milkshake. <laughs> okay, taste test. I'm trying it right now. It's <laughs> just like chicken. Wait, what? All right. This is so sweet. <laughs> What's in it? So we have strawberry daiquiri at the base, in the middle yeah. we have mango. At the top is the same mango, but mixed with blue curry, so to give it that green color. Wow, it's so sweet. Wow. I like it though. Uh, I'm gonna get you another napkin. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's any liquor in it. This has no alcohol, right? No alcohol. Yeah, I was like, there's nothing in it. If there was alcohol, then I'd be very concerned about you right now. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Yo, the customer service. 10 out of 10 customer service. Okay. I'm not used to this customer service in Jamaica, man. Try some. I think the tacos are done to order, so they're taking a while. He brought me water because he was like, oh, it might be um, too sweet for you. <laughs> I didn't ask for it, he just brought it out of nowhere. He's like, oh, I'm just bringing one in case it's too sweet. That's so nice. Got the tacos. This one's a shrimp? Oh, yes, yeah. thank you. You're most welcome. Chicken. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I got shrimp tacos. He got, I think he got beef. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, we're switching tacos. This one's beef. This one's shrimp. Okay, we're trying. We switched tacos, beef, shrimp. We're gonna try both of them. Mmm. That's so good. Oh, this is spicy. I'm gonna fill up pepper, you guys. Right here. You don't need to go to Kingston anymore. Oh, this one's grilled chicken. I like the shrimp better. Okay, children can come here between 12 and 5 p.m. So if you guys have any young youngins, they can come here and eat. And then you can get two tacos for 400. 
um, depending. And the most, the highest price taco is $800, and that's a shrimp taco. And there's fish taco for $600, so it's good. I'm only having two. Two should be able to fill you if you ate a breakfast. If you didn't eat a breakfast, then you probably would have like a next to you, but in total, it would only be like $800 for four tacos, which is so good. If we're getting like beef and grilled chicken taco. The grilled chicken one is spicy. And they have free Wi-Fi here too. Listen, I see people when they come here, they dress up really nice and everything. So guess what? My total bill was only 2,500. For the milkshake, the Bob Marley drink, the two sets of tacos, well, four tacos, 2,500. Dang. Yeah, I've been tipping people because everyone's customer service is so good. Anyways, so we're done with this place. You guys can come here Gizmos for Taco Wednesdays or just for tacos in general. Um, their drinks are good here. Anyway, so let's go into the next place. We've come to the end of this vlog. I wanted to do five places in Mindable to eat, but some of these places, they're rude, the food sucks, or the customer service is disgusting, regardless if their food is good. So these places I have in this video here, their customer service is good, okay? That's the main one, and their food is good. Okay, so that's why I'm recommending these places for you guys to come to in Mindable. So give this video a thumbs up. If you guys found this video useful, share it, share it, share it, share it. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.